D. Ferguson, Brianna Lewis, and Natasha Reiser present Hip Hop and Rap in the South, our collaborative documentary for Sociology 794 at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Hip Hop was pioneered in New York's South Bronx in the 1970s by Jamaican-born DJ Cool Herc, real name Clive Campbell. A monumental party hosted by DJ Cool Herc in 1973 is remembered as the party that launched the hip hop movement. Four elements are defined as true hip hop expression. One, DJing or turntablism. Two, MCing or rapping. Three, b-boying or breakdancing. And four, visual graffiti art. Rap lyrics in the 70s and 80s often contained bold and powerful messages about social issues like growing up in the ghetto, discrimination, the crack epidemic, and the struggles to be Black in America post-civil rights. Per professor and author Derek Aldridge, the most radical ideas often grow out of a concrete intellectual engagement with the problems of aggrieved populations confronting systems of oppression. The southern states where rap is prominent is going to be Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, Texas, and Tennessee. In Florida, Miami is the city where most will you'll find most rap artists. In Georgia, it's going to be Atlanta. In Louisiana, it's going to be Baton Rouge. In Texas, it's going to be Houston. And in Tennessee, it's going to be Memphis. These are the cities from the southern states where rap is most popular. These are the cities where rap is most popular. The most prominent is Georgia, which is right, which right now has surpassed the rap genre's original city of New York. Atlanta is the biggest city right now as far as rap is concerned. When you consider who listens to rap music, you can easily break it down into demographics. But here's what's interesting. A report compiled for the National Endowment for the Arts suggests that personality traits may be more indicative of the likelihood of listening to rap. Listeners were described as energetic and rhythmic. Indeed, research has shown that those who listen to rap score high in the personality trait of extroversion. Shown here are the pioneers of Southern hip hop and rap, all formed in the South in the late 1980s and early 1990s. While hip hop and rap was birthed in New York, the movement unstoppably progressed all the way to the South and established its own firm place-based identity. The South was and remains uniquely distinct from other regions in its accent, cuisine, trends, language, fashion, cars, lifestyle, and more. The South culturally advanced hip hop and rap despite being misunderstood through years of rejection and distinctive challenges. Being a slower and less intelligent group of people were common stigmas Southern artists faced. Southern artists realized they had to be bold, different, and loud to break into the hip hop scene and be respected. Post civil rights in the South was arguably some of the worst in the country regarding racism, segregation, police brutality, discrimination, Jim Crow, poverty, and more. Ironically, those same struggles were formed into rap lyrics. Oppression was a common theme in early Southern hip hop and rap, and the fight to overcome it was a prime reason for Southern rappers' grit and relentlessness to succeed. Writer Natalie Grem states, as the 1990s progressed, the country style of Southern rappers solely became a credit rather than a constraint. Regional identity, as much as racial identity, would make Southern rap sell. So well, there are several different genres of rap created in the South. The first is underground. Um, it represents something that is a mainstream or popular by the masses. Those artists usually aren't signed and they usually um, prefer creative control over their music and how they put it out. Crunk is a sub-genre of hip-hop music. It emerged around the early 1990s and it is often an up-tempo um, beat and it's usually more for dance or used like in hip-hop clubs. Chopped and screwed Basically, it's just slowed and scratched over songs, and then they're pop, possibly they can be mixed with other songs. And this verse, this uh, genre of rap originated in Houston with DJ Screw. And then there's trap rap. Trap is a subgenre of hip hop music, 
that originated in the southern United States, mostly Atlanta. The, ger the genre um, gets its name from Atlanta slang word trap, which refers to a place in which drugs are illegally sold. Hip hop culture in the South is unique. An art installation entitled The Dirty South Contemporary Art, Material Culture, and the Sonic Impulse uses several mediums from painting to material items and music as a way to convey the historical and contemporary events that shaped and currently define the culture of the Dirty South. The cultural disbursement of hip hop by music is referred to as rap. And their single, The Dirty South, Goody Mob, made this term commonplace. There is lyrical symbolism in this song, but it is the images that bring home the messages of oppression and division in the South. A little white girl is shown in a gated playground, isolated from the black experience and working on her own imagery, the image of a Confederate flag. Outcast additionally added to the images of the dirty South. Today, the message of oppression is still relevant. It is not a genteel South that is promoted, but a Gothic South. The experiences of black men reveals a good versus evil and a hyper-masculine stereotype is imagined. With the increased rise in white listeners, hip hop has appealed to suburban teens and some have emulated the hypermasculinity of the hip hop culture and lived vicariously through rap lyrics and imagery. Hip hop symbolism bleeds into mainstream style. As facial tattoos become more popular, their history begins with slaves and criminals, then become a status symbol among criminals and gang members as well as hip hop artists. Contemporary artists quote personal rather than group meanings as influencing the images of facial tattoos. Another style initiated by hip hop is sagging pants, which was originally indicative of a toughness associated with prison and defiance. An alternative style is bagging, which is similar but less defiant, and it is used to express their personal choice of style rather than to express an association with prison life. Social movements are an important part of our society, and the Dirty South has done their part in bringing social issues to the forefront. Some protest songs call for peace and prayer as a way to initiate social change, while others are more direct in describing experiences and appealing to listeners to reflect upon and act upon their experiences. Both The Ghetto Boys' 1993 single, Crooked Officer, and T.I.'s new national anthem describe the experiences of black men being sought out and victimized by police. So rap is significant because it reaches into every culture now. Um, it has great influential capabilities, especially among the youth, even, even those who are not considered minorities. Rap represents underrepresented groups in America, their struggles as well as their triumphs. Most rap groups use rap as a way to creatively express their views on politics, culture, and economic struggles. Many rappers who did not have a voice previously used rap as a way to create a voice for people who had no voice in America. When the hit song Rapper's Delight by Sugar Hill Gang was released in 1979, it rose to number one on the music charts and sold millions of copies. That song proved all cynics wrong, and hip-hop was since commercialized into a valuable commodity. Fast forward to the year 2000, when hip-hop grossed over $1.8 billion in sales in the United States. Southern hip-hop and rap gained its mass popularity and respect in the late 1980s with music from Texas group UGK. A defining moment for Southern rap was at the 1995 Source Awards. The enormously popular duo, OutKast, had just been awarded Best New Artist. That moment is remembered as the first time when people began to take Southern rap seriously. In 2004, Outkast won six Grammys, including Album of the Year, for their multi-platinum fifth album. Southern hip-hop reached its height from 2002 through 2004. 
In 2002, Southern hip hop artists accounted for 50 to 60% of the singles on hip hop music charts. Kendrick Lamar, a hip hop and rap artist who won multiple Grammys, Billboard Awards, and multiple other awards, also made history by winning a 2018 Pulitzer Prize for music marking the first time in the prestigious prize history that it's been given to an artist outside of the classical or jazz community. Ask yourself, if the kids are the future, tell me why you can get more for being a CEO than you can for being a teacher.